Ever Basir the Shmuel is fired up. Hashem Kol Yisrael. The Kavod Hei Lekish Shabbos. Hope everyone's doing well. We are inching closer to Purim. I think thirty eight days now. Baruch Hashem, and we are continuing in our journey. Matanos Avionim, the Mitzvah of Matanos Avionim. Suran Nukuda Bet, or Chelik Bet, whatever you want to call it. So we're learning about the the difference between the Sadaka to Matanos Avionim. And what we can um, what we can understand from it, from the light of Purim and how it could shine upon us for the rest of the year. So vehine be'emet mitzvah tzedakah kaimat b'chol shana, right? But in truth, you know, when we speak about matanot avunim, it's not just a thing that's going to happen for a couple of days. You know, it's something that happens every single day of the year. Right, it's even. I was thinking about it like the other day when it comes to Hanukkah. Like we're all so excited about Hanukkah. Why are we so excited about Hanukkah even when Hanukkah is not here right now? Like Kilu, right? It's mamish here, but people are obsessed with the fact that they they have a little candle inside of them. They have a little Nikuda Toba that they're able to uncover. Right, they're obsessed over the fact that the candle is never down; it's always pointed up. That they're actually doing good, and they're always going higher. Right, they're obsessed over the fact that they they could look at the candle, and they could see that even amidst the greatest darkness, the greatest period of darkness that there can be, I could shine some light. I could reveal some light in this world. They're obsessed with the light of Hanukkah, the Beit Hamikdash, the family, the Mishpacha, the the Sufka Niyot. It's crazy. I saw a Sefer Ami here in the chat, the, the breast of chat. Someone came out with the Sefer Sufka Niyot. I think it was like 500 pages on, on the on the Torahs of the Sufka Niyot. I, I, I can't wrap my head around that. We're obsessed with Hanukkah, the same too with Purim. We have to be obsessed with Matanot Avunim, not just for one day, but for the whole year. Okay, anyways, give up. It's in our nature. Things do not go your way in reality than allow ourselves to desire his the way things are in reality. We have, to, we have to say that again. Things do not go your way in reality. Then allow ourselves to desire the way things are in reality. Oh. Oh. <laughs> wow. The see the Shmaya. Feel like should we should we conclude on that? <laughs> Thanks so chazak. All right, we'll do a little bit more. Is Rath Hashem. So it's in our nature. It's in our nature. Right? To love every single what? What page? Oh, we're on uh Reish Lama Gimel. Reish Lama Gimel 233. We're in the mitzvah of Matanot Avionim, and we're on Bet on Havdel Ben Sedakal Matanot Avionim. Towards the end. All right. So we're on Amnon, but we're we're just gonna summarize that it's instilled in us, right? We're a chil- we have a chiloko coming on Mamish. And even though Ami may not be my brother, so to speak, he's a Ben Amelech. So Bikitsur he is a brother. If he's a Ben Amalek and I'm a Ben Amalek, then we're brothers. Right? So even the people that we don't recognize, we have to see the fact, like we spoke about yesterday, and have this, this understanding and this like um ability to um ability to move our self and our ego aside just a little bit to see that there's also room for other people. What do I mean by that? When we allow our ego and our, our atzmut, our yeshus to take over, then it's hard to feel this, this 
brotherly love, the circle of family in our lives. But once we once we limit that and we decrease that part of ourselves and we channel it differently, we start to see, oh wait, I'm a Ben Amalek, just like he's a Ben Amalek, just like she's a Ben Amalek, you know, Bat Amalek. All these things, and then we start to, you know, be able to love Jews, love people, even when we don't recognize them. But with our Asmus, we may think that we're the only Ben. Even though there's a Gabbatha Gatora, like uh, about us viewing ourselves as the only child and all that stuff. But anyways, in an unhealthy way. That didn't make sense. I was trying to explain it. It didn't make sense. But anyways, we go by this. I'm not big. <laughs> Kitor. We, we love Am Yisrael. And we need to always give, even if we don't know who we're giving to. Meaning we can have a beggar, you know, come over to us. A holy Yidala, and we may judge him, you know, uh, and all the externals. We really don't know his story, where he came from, where he is, and where he's going. We don't know. Amam be mitzvahs matinola avionin kit chadsha halacha she'im mitaktim be maot torim. So we know um, when it comes to the mitzvah of matinota avionin, right? So we we just said. We just spoke about tzedakah and how tzedakah, every single, you know, uh, throughout the year, we're always giving tzedakah, every single Jew, even to those that we don't really know. Because we know that everyone's a Ben Amela. And this is like the nature of all of Am Yisrael. But, uh, but when it comes to the mitzvah of Matanot Avionim, there's a renewal of this. That there's a halacha she'in mitakdim b'ma'od torim. That there's a halacha that we shouldn't be medactic when it comes in the times of perm. So we know that even throughout the whole year, in order that we don't lose out from tzedakah, like we don't lose out in, in uh, charity and our funds. In the middle of the gym. Of the gym. In the middle of the gym. Not anymore. Can't say that. No. Can't do that. You get that. If you're dressed. I. Please. Hey, Ami. Hey, Ami. Okay. Okay. Love you guys. Fabulous. I just want to say good night. I just want to say good night. Good night. Are you taking a shower now? No, I'm actually going to play ball. Did you hear that? Why isn't it working? Do you hear the sound? Yeah, I hear the sound. I'm sorry, it's me. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, even throughout the whole year, in order that we don't lose out from the tzedakah, we don't lose our money, we have to check, we need to check, and we need to seek out the whoever is like a true ani, a true poor person throughout the year. When it comes to tzedakah, we have to, oh, is this person legit? Is this person like really, really, uh, does he really need money? Or is he just asking just to ask? And we have to find those, those people who are suitable and that fit our eyes and what we think. <speaking in Hebrew> we give to whoever we see. We give to whoever we see in Chavra. The Pneumius, this could also be applied to every single aspect of our lives. When we look at a person, you know, uh, let's say lunchroom, a great place, you know, whether we're in high school, college, the the workplace, wherever we find ourselves, we, ah, I don't really want to sit with that person, you know, for whatever reason. 
that's a Sadaka mindset throughout the year. But if we have a Purimadika mindset, when it comes to Matanot Avirim, say, ah, Kavalt, we're sitting with that person. We're sitting with that person with open arms. Sitting with that person with open arms. Kamoshi Katava Ariza, the Shara Kabanot. During the days of Chol, we need to see from the people who gives the tzedakah. Aval now, when it comes to Purim, there's a great light. It doesn't need to be makbid. Rather, when it comes, oh, oh, I think that's what he's saying. That during the days of Chol, we need to, we need to know, um, and we need to see who we're giving tzedakah to. But when it comes to Purim, there's such a big light that we don't have to be mocked on this. That we give, like we said before, to any single person that that uh, puts out their hand, that puts out their heart. So we all be zocha to not just put out our hands. You know, and uh, give dollar bills. The mamas give hugs, give love, give big hearts, give openness, give relationships, and uh, give joy, mamish, and to show people joy, to show people what love is, to show people what relationships are, to show people what it means to to feel satiated, to feel like we're enough. We should give this light to every single person that we encounter. Sorry for the for the breaks in between tonight. Um, but we have to desire the things in this world, Mamish. Right? If they don't go according to our way, we have to desire what is in front of our eyes. What a line, Ami. What a line. Questions, comments, please feel free. The line is from um to know what the line is from. The line is from Mordechai Lechovich. He also has another. Line the Amuna just goes along saying, "How do you know you believe in Amuna? You speak about it." Monty K. Dowrick, because you believe, but also believing, speaking about Amuna. You know, Wait, who's the rabbi? Mordechai Lechovitz. Mordechai Lechovitz. Mordechai Lechovitz. When was he? Is he alive? No. No, no, it's Slanim. Oh, Slanim, Slanim. Wow, one day you have to teach me all the names of the Rebbeim. Sorry, oh, it's Chassid of Carly of Tolus Iron. Wow. All right. Strong, 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 strong. Amala. This Rath Hashem will, will continue tomorrow. And uh, I was fired up today. It's fired up, Mamish. Love you, Achi. Be well, be well. It's fired up. Who was I saying hi before? Yehuda, Gabe. You know Gabe Gross? Yeah. Yehuda Roslavsky and Akiva Epstein. All the cover. No. All right. Uh, Three hugs. Be well. All right. Be well, be well. You too.